Hi everyone, I'm Ayla, the science educator for Ocean First Institute. Recently, we've been talking about melting sea ice and the impact it can have on marine animals, especially those that live and rely on Arctic climates for hunting, mating, and raising their young. Polar bears in particular have a life cycle that is intimately connected to the Arctic, and as a result, they've developed a series of special adaptations to allow them to not only survive, but thrive in temperatures that can drop as low as negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In today's series of activities, we're going to learn about those polar bear adaptations and see how they compare to our own ability to withstand cold. Let's get started. Unlike some marine animals that rely on blubber to keep them warm in cool climates, polar bears instead have a thick layer of fat beneath their skin. This fat stores energy for them all year round and keeps them warm as well. In order to maintain this layer of fat, polar bears can eat up to 12,000 calories a day and they can weigh up to 1,300 pounds. This is incredible. Our experiment today is going to allow us to see what this layer of fat does to keep polar bears warm in their Arctic climates. For us, we're going to need some solid fat, I'm using vegetable shortening, a bowl of ice water, and two Ziploc bags. Now, it's important to note that for the most part, Ocean First Institute likes to keep our activities as zero waste as possible. So please do considering either keeping the fat glove we make for future experiments or rinsing, drying, and reusing these Ziploc bags. The first step for this experiment is to create our polar bear fat glove. You're going to start this by basically loading up a Ziploc bag with your solid fat. That's going to mimic the layer of fat that polar bears have. Just gonna slip it in there like that. This might get a little bit messy, but it's more efficient than eating 12,000 calories today. Once you've gotten enough fat in this bag, you're going to take the other Ziploc bag, which will basically be your glove to prevent your hand from getting greasy. You'll go ahead and stick this inside the other Ziploc bag, like this, and then smush the solid fat all around. Once you've smushed it all around, so there's a relatively even layer of fat around this, that's gonna be your polar bear glove, and you're going to compare it to what it feels like with just a regular hand. Go ahead and slip one hand in the fat glove, and then take this other hand and put it in the ice water. You probably can already guess which one is gonna feel warmer, but what you might not be able to guess is how much warmer it is. This hand is already feeling incredibly cold, whereas I can't even feel the ice water with this polar bear glove. It's amazing what this adaptation does to keep polar bears safe and warm as they hunt. The fat layer is important to help polar bears retain energy all year long, but they don't live in the water. Polar bears primarily live and hunt on top of that Arctic sea ice. So just like we put on winter coats to go outside when it's cold, polar bears need a thick layer of fur to help stay warm. And again, temperatures that can reach below negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to understand how this fur works, we're going to need cotton balls, another plastic bag, and a plate of ice. This is going to be our Arctic sea ice. First, you're gonna go ahead and fill up your Ziploc bag with cotton balls. Again, please do consider reusing the Ziploc bag and reusing the cotton balls to reduce the waste. Go ahead and stuff that bag full of cotton balls and zip it up, press out the additional air, and you have polar bear fur. This is a pretty simple activity. All you're gonna do is put the fur on one side and your hand directly on the ice on the other side. Again, you can probably guess which is going to be warmer, but you might not guess how much warmer. I can't even feel the ice when I put my hand on this fur. On the other hand, this hand gets cold pretty immediately. It's clear that polar bears are much more adapted to living in chilly environments than humans are. Because of these unique adaptations, polar bears are going to grapple with overheating as global temperatures rise, and they are considered vulnerable. The good news is though that you can help. Check out the description of this video to see how you can reduce your carbon footprint and make sure these amazing animals continue to thrive in the Arctic. Thank you so much for joining me and check back soon for more at-home ocean exploration activities.